Welcome to Mr. Beep Cool Tutorials. Today I'll be showing you how to publish your website using Sandvox. If you don't have Sandvox, you can you can get Sandvox from my blog, which I'll um include a link in the description. So um, first of all, all you need to do is open up Sandvox and open up like pretty much your website. In this tutorial, I, I won't be showing you in um like how to create your website, and there'll be like another tutorial for that. And I'm only going to show you how to publish it. So um, first of all um, yeah, once you have your website like this, and you're happy like with all the pages, um, you you go to um publish, which is up here, and um go to export. I I'll be showing you how to publish it using FTP, and um, unless like if you have mobile me or like um have actually subs uh, have actually subscribed to like a uh, like a maybe professional server um you you should like use that and use their like guidelines on how to do it. But this is like if you don't have one, and like um yeah, so. You, unless you have like RSS feeds on your website, you don't have to enter anything here. But to export to, um, I, I'd recommend you make a new folder. Website folder, create and export to test website export. Oh. So you do have to put it in the www dot test website dot mm, I know web e g dot com yeah just wait for this to uh, um export while it's doing that open up your web browser and um like go to your FTP client that you're using. I, I'm personally using 000 web host and it's what I'll be using um, for now so um, yeah. So you log in Yes, um, so uh, you see I've already created a, um, a domain, but, yeah, so I've already created one, so, um, all you need to go is press here, go to cPanel, and, and, um, all you need here is all this, um, account information here. So the next thing that you'll need is a web client host like FileZilla or Cyberduck. I'm using fi FileZilla today. Yeah, so um, open up FileZilla or whatever you're using. Just wait for it to open. Yeah, okay. So, um... You pretty much copy and paste the information from here onto here. Your domain, like the thing that it calls the domain up here, is the ser the host. You you don't type in your account username, but you um enter this username. And the password is the password that you used to create this domain so um pretty much the um yeah the domain the default domain is 21 here so I'll just press click, quick connect and you'll see that um yeah that um the folders appear here so um you go into public folder or directory you know just wait 
And um, because I've already got stuff in here, I'll just delete it all. Yes. Just wait while it does that. While it's doing that, um, go to the folder um, in which you exported your website. And these are the um, these are the files that you'll upload to the internet. So yeah, just um, quick view them to see if they work. Oh, just wait. So um, let's just see how FileZilla is doing. Yep. So it's an empty um folder now. Now, you go to, up here is pretty much like your computer, so I stored it onto documents, um, schoolwork, 2011, sustainability, website folder, test website. So, um, when you click on test website, you'll see all the files here. Just command A or copy them all and drag them onto here. And just wait. Yeah, so um, now it's been like it. All the things have been copied. So go to your website here. And yeah, it should work like this. Now, if you want your um, like URL to be short, um, like maybe mr b pool 123.tk you can um go here to just wait dot tk and just just wait Enter your URL. And um, here you can select what you want. I'll just do Mr. Beep Cool. P G Z P I M U. And um, I said I I recommend that you um do the um this email address, but because I um like I can't be bothered, I um I'll just do this one. So um yeah, when you do that, you can try to go there. And it should um come up with your website. So yeah, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you like it, subscribe and comment. Yeah.